here's what you know, all those people who said you got to vote for Joe Biden and push him left. Uh, they're all propagandists or they're dupes uh, because they're never going to push Joe Biden left unless we push them to push Joe Biden left. And nobody on the left is into pushing politicians. They're just not. Uh, the two top Senate leaders are nearing a power sharing agreement. So the Democrats just took over the goddamn Senate. Now they have control of every branch of government. They have the House. They have the Senate. They have the White House. Isn't that amazing? They control all of it. And, what, and so what is... What is Chuck Schumer going to do He's going to take this power that he's got now and ram through progressive Democratic ideas and causes that they've been fucking waiting to implement for years. What is he going to do? No, he's going to share power. The first thing he wants to do is figure out how they could share power. That's the first thing. And Joe Biden has already indicated that he's not going to let Bernie use reconciliation to get anything done with the budget committee. And Bernie won't do anything that Joe Biden doesn't approve. So we're fucked. And here they are. Announcing they're going to share power. Look at that. They're not going to. They're going to share power. I can't wait to see their friendship bracelets. <laughs> I bet. What do you think they're laughing about right there? I bet they're laughing about poor people <laughs> and the lack of support that they've given them over the last year. I bet that's what they're laughing at. Ha ha! We got away with six hundred dollars after one of the fu. Just one fu payment. Ha ha ha! Hey, let's go on vacation. So the top two Senate leaders are nearing a power sharing agreement to hash out how to divide the divided chamber will operate with Democrats in charge of setting the schedule. But both parties likely to hold an equal number of seats on Senate committees. The negotiations between Democratic leader Chuck Schumer and Republican leader Mitch McConnell have been built largely around how the Senate operated the last time the body was split 50 50 when George W. Bush initially became president in 2001. Democrats will hold the chairmanships of the committees, giving them power to set the agenda. And Schumer will be granted the title of majority speaker leader since Vice President-elect Kamala Harris will cast tie-breaking votes on the floor. So the vice president is a 50-50 chamber. She gets to vote in the Senate and she's going to vote with the Democrats so the Democrats have the majority. OK, you get that right. Uh, even when the Democrats win, they demand they lose, says Alan McLeod. What was the point of demoting Mc McConnell as majority leader if Schumer is going to power share with him? McConnell never would have done this for Schumer and Biden. No kidding. The last time both parties decided to power share, they joined forces to invade Iraq on WMD lies and pass the Patriot Act, which got abused or surveil a lot of poor people of color. So we got a lot to look forward to. Isn't that amazing? This will probably end with McConnell getting most of what he wants and Schumer occasionally writing strongly worded letters. <laughs> you know that's what's coming. It's almost like this system's designed to make sure really powerful people never have to concede much of anything. Politicians are a lot like extras in movies. They're around to make the play seem real. Democrats are hell-bent on meeting the party of white supremacy halfway. LOL. So there was no point electing Democrats. Uh. No. Hey, wake me up when the country realizes neither party is actually for the American people. If anything has been evident, mainstream media government does everything in their power to pit this side versus that side. As long as we fight amongst ourselves, they live off the fruits of our labor. Black people were rioting all last summer. White people started rioting in the winter. Hmm. I've had Richard Wolf on this show and Chris Hedges to talk about the causes of that. And they seem to be multifaceted and not really reported, <laughs> not really talked about. They seem to be multifaceted, deep rooted, and all attached somehow to 
our failed government, neoliberalism, and an oppressive oligarchy. Hmm. Hmm. So I wonder who benefits off a left-right divide in America. Do the Democrats benefit off it? Yes. Do the Republicans? Yes. Do they both work for the same guy? Yes. Is this professional wrestling? Yes. What is professional wrestling? Professional wrestling is when they're both being paid by the same person. So Joe Biden and Mitch McConnell and Nancy Pelosi, all paid by the same person, Chuck Schumer, meaning Wall Street, military industrial complex, big pharma and health insurance companies. They're all paid by the same people. They're all controlled by the same people. And the outcome is already known. The outcome is we're going to have a ramped up military budget. We're going to keep privatized insurance to keep people broke, sick and poor. And we're going to keep instituting austerity and neoliberalism while we give five trillion dollars to the richest people in the country. That's the they already know that that's the outcome. And now they have to go do the theater. They have to go out and put on the show. And that's what Nancy Pelosi does when she claps like this and rips up his speech. That's all a show. She ripped up his speech as she passed his entire legislative agenda, meaning Trump's agenda, including money for their border wall. So uh, I understand the idea of taking, I understand the desire and the want to take over the Democratic Party and turn it into a party that actually opposes oligarchy and establishment. That is never happening. Ever. That's never, ever happening. Ever. Not happening. Never. Not happening. Not going to happen. Justice Democrats are a huge fail. Unless they turn, unless they, again, they're tweeting really well. They're super tweeting hard. Oh, yes. Uh, but they're not going to cross the party in a significant way. They've already proven that they're not going to do it. And if they start crossing the party in a significant way that means something, uh, that will be the first. And I'll be like, wow, look at that total 180 by the Justice Democrats. I wonder why. So now they have complete control of government. And let's watch the Justice Democrats and the rest of the Democrats make excuses for why we can't have nice things. And the reason why we can't have nice things is because we have one party rule in America. What's that? What was that joke? Who was the person? It was America has a one party system, but in traditional American extravagance, they have two parties or something like that. I'm, I'm butchering that to death. You know that quote, right? It's a famous quote. I'm butchering it. But anyway, so. Um, and, and boy, oh boy, I wanted the Justice Democrats to succeed. I had them on my show whenever they wanted. I was the first one to have Cori Bush on a tell show. I was the first one to have AOC on a show. I really, really wanted them to succeed. And it's just clear that it's not possible. It's just not possible. And shame on people who make excuses for them. Shame on you. Shame on you. For, for real. I mean, how crazy a Justice Democrat will come out for censorship. That's pretty crazy, everybody, because if you don't connect the learning dots here, how do they get access to media as a right. justice? Men they have right. no access. Right. And they want to now censor the media that made them popular. <laughs> of course, because they're not really left. They're careerists. They're in it for themselves. They don't take corporate money. How could they be a sellout? Because they vote like people who take corporate money. They don't challenge the people who take the corporate money. And why? For their own career inside the party. And quit pretending like you don't know that. Oh, they're getting something. Quit pretending like you don't know what's going on. So uh, hashtag forced to vote was the great reveal. It was the mask off moment. Here it is. Here's that quote. It was uh, said by Julius Nairi. He's the first president of Tanzania. He said the United States is also a one-party state, but with typical American extravagance, they have two of them. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
Hey, everybody, this is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program, get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video. <laughs> 